Hey, what's up, baby? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your ARM9 Loader Hacks custom firmware Nintendo 3DS to the new Boot 9 Strap custom firmware. Now, this applies to you if you followed my video guide on how to get custom firmware, or if you got custom firmware anytime before the middle of May, which is when this new Boot 9 Strap custom firmware came out. So if you're here to learn how to get custom firmware, this video is not for you. This is only for people that already have custom firmware. But if you are interested in learning how to get custom firmware on your Nintendo 3DS, you can follow the amazing 3ds.guide website, which I'll have linked in the description below, that has an amazing step-by-step -step tutorial on how to go from stock Nintendo 3DS to custom firmware 3DS. As of the release of this video, it actually works on the latest 11.4 Nintendo 3DS version. However, there is a catch and it requires another 3DS that already has custom firmware. So it's kind of a catch 22 because you already need to have a 3DS with custom firmware in order to do the process. So I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to make a video on how to get custom firmware on 11.4, but if you would like to see it, then you can vote on the poll right here and let me know if you'd like to see that because before I start all the work on that video which takes a very long time I'd like to see if anybody would like to watch it and if you want to go ahead and do it right now you can just follow the 3ds written guide that I mentioned earlier which will be right here you can just follow that card or as I mentioned before in the description below anyways getting back to the main topic of this video if you have custom firmware and you did the custom firmware process anytime before the middle of May 2017, this video is for you. Because as of now, Luma 3DS will not work with updates for ARM9 Loader Hacks custom firmware 3DSs. So if you are interested in updating your Luma 3DS from here onward, which is a pretty crucial thing for your custom firmware 3DS, I highly recommend that you update to Boot 9 Strap as I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this video following a guide from the 3DS guide. So if you all are excited for that, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, one last thing before we begin, I need to tell you about this amazing website that allows you to create Android games without any coding experience and completely free. But the best part is, you can actually make money off the Android games you create using this amazing website called Quick App Ninja. It's super easy to use, you can follow their tutorial, you can create amazing Android games as the ones you see here, and of course, the best part, make some quick money as many others have that have already started using Quick App Ninja, and it's pretty amazing. So I highly recommend that you check out Quick App Ninja via the link in the description below, register and start creating your Android games. All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is not a guide on how to get custom firmware on your 3DS. Rather, if you already have custom firmware on your 3DS and you got it before the middle of May, then you're probably running ARM9 loader hacks and you need to update to the new Boot 9 Strap custom firmware in order to continue updating your Luma 3DS, which is pretty essential for anything that you wanna do with custom firmware. Finally, the last thing I wanna mention before we begin is that if at any point while you're following my video and the written guide, if you encounter a problem or have any questions, you can always ask in the Nintendo Homebrew Discord in the 3DS help and assistance chat. There's always people there that are happy to help you. When you get into the chat and you need help, mention what step you're on to get better assistance and that you're following this video. So with all that being said, now let us begin. So the first thing you wanna do is remove your SD card from your Nintendo 3DS and place it into your computer. Then open your favorite web browser and type in the URL 3ds.guide to be taken to the 3ds guide website. From here, we're going to go to the updating boot 9 strap guide that is at the top right of the page. Once you click on that, it'll take you to this written guide that has a ton of important information at the top. So the first one being that 
Of course, as I mentioned before, all future releases of Luma 3DS will only be made in dot .firm format, so if you want to update, you need to get into Boot 9 Strap, which is the reason why we're doing this video. The next one is super important as it has a red banner, but it only pertains to people that have a pin enabled on Luma 3DS, so if you have a pin enabled, make sure you read that to learn how to fix to your error. Next, this does require a magnet link, so you will need a torrent downloader like Deluge. So if you don't have Deluge, you can download it for your operating system. I'm using a Mac, and of course this process works on Windows, Linux, whatever it is that you're using. So just go ahead and download Deluge for your operating system. And then going down, we can now start with everything that we need for this tutorial. As you can see, the first two are magnet links, but the first one is only for people that use 3DS Safe, which is the pin lock in Luma 3DS. And then the next one is only for new 3DS users, and you only need that if you have a new 3DS. So in my case, I'm using an old 3DS, so I'm not going to go ahead and download that. Moving on, we have the latest release of all these other files that you see here. No matter what 3DS you have or what you're doing, you need to download all of these. So just go ahead and download the latest release of all of those files there by clicking on the link and then clicking on the correct link. And once you have all of those downloaded, we can head to our desktop and get them onto our SD card. Continuing on with the 3DS guide, the first thing you want to do is extract the luma3ds.7z file, which requires an additional program to extract it. So if you don't have that program, you can find the link in the description below for your operating system. Once you extract that file, you'll see that there's a boot.firm file that you want to put on the root of your SD card. Then on the root of your SD card, you want to create a new folder called CIAs if you don't already have one and drag the Luma updater CIA that we downloaded into that folder. Next, we're going to extract the godmo9.zip file that we downloaded and within that extracted file, we are going to take the godmo9.firm and place it into our Luma payloads folder. So on the root of your SD card, go to the Luma folder open the payloads folder and then drag the godmode9.firm file into that payloads folder and then you can delete your start underscore godmode9.bin file if you have it. Then we're going to extract the safe bs9 installer zip and then you want to go ahead and open that file and you're going to drag the safe b9s installer.bin not the dot firm as i did i dragged the wrong file in and that totally messed me up but i realized later that i made that mistake so make sure you drag the dot bin file not the dot firm and then name it start underscore safe b9s installer and of course with the dot bin at the end once you've done that, you can go ahead and exit and go back to the root of your SD card. And here we're going to create another new folder called boot 9 strap all in undercase, just as I typed it here. Then go ahead and open that folder and we're going to drag in a few files there. So we're going to go ahead and unzip the boot 9 strap dot zip file. And within that extracted folder, we want to drag the boot 9 strap dot firm and the boot 9 strap dot firm dot sha into this new boot 9 strap folder on our sd card additionally if you're using a new 3ds you also want to drag the secret sector dot bin into that folder and if you're using 3ds safe you also want to drag the aesk db dot bin file in there but that's only if you're using 3ds safe or a new 3ds so once you have all the files on your SD card, you can go ahead and eject it from your computer and put it into your Nintendo 3DS. Then power on your Nintendo 3DS while holding start to launch the safe B9S installer. And on the bottom screen, you'll watch it go down the line until it gets to the firm backup and it'll ask you to enter the key combo on the top screen. Go ahead and enter that key combo so it does the firm backup. And once it's done with that, it'll say SIG hacks firm install success press A to continue. Go ahead and press A and it'll take you to the Luma 3DS menu where you want to scroll down to show NAND or user string in system settings and press A and then start to save which will reboot your Nintendo 3DS to the home menu. Once you get to the home menu go ahead and power off your Nintendo 3DS and then turn it back on while holding start in order to get to the God Mode 9 
So once you're in God Mode 9, go ahead and press A on SD card, then scroll down to the Luma folder, and then select the Payloads folder. In this folder, we're going to go ahead and delete the start underscore safe B9S installer by pressing X on it, and then A to confirm the deletion. So once you go ahead and do that, you can press B to return to the SD card. And once you get back to the SD card, you want to scroll down until you see the boot.firm file. And we are going to copy that by pressing Y on it. So once you press Y on it, you can return to the main menu by pressing B. And in the main menu where you see SD card, you want to go down and navigate to SysNAND CTR NAND and press A on it. Then once you press A on that, you want to press Y to paste boot.firm into this directory and then select copy paths. And then once you click copy paths, it'll say press A to unlock SysNAND level one writing. So press A and then input the key combo that it gives you on the bottom screen. Once you've inputted this key combo on the bottom screen and you've now copied the boot.firm into this folder here, we're going to go ahead and delete the arm9loaderhacks.bin file that is in this same directory if you have it, if you don't have it, then that's fine. But if you do have it, just as I have it, you want to go ahead and delete it by scrolling down to it and pressing X on it and then pressing A to confirm that you want to delete it. Once you've done that, we can press B to return to the main menu and we're going to navigate back into SD card and we are going to scroll over to the Luma file and just hover over it. We're not actually going to go into the Luma file this time. Rather, we are going to copy the Luma folder by pressing Y on it. So go ahead and press Y on the Luma folder. And once you have it copied, we can return to the main menu by pressing B and we're going to go back into SysNAND CTRNAND. And in this directory, we're going to go into the RW folder. And here we are going to press X on the Luma folder that is already there to delete it. So press A to confirm the deletion of this Luma folder that's already here and we're going to press Y to paste the new Luma folder into this directory. So press A to copy the paths and once you've done that you can press start to reboot your Nintendo 3DS and it'll take you back to the home menu. From here we're going to go to FBI and FBI looks just like so if you don't know what FBI looks like. So go ahead and press A to open it. And once you open FBI, we're going to be installing the Luma Updater CIA. And of course you can do that by going to the SD card on the bottom screen, then going to the CIA's folder that is also on the bottom screen, selecting the LumaUpdater.CIA and then selecting install CIA. Then just continue with the confirmations until the Luma Updater CIA installs. And then once it's done installing, you can return to the home menu by pressing home. And you'll see that you now have the Luma Updater icon, or some of you may have already had it, but now this is the new Luma Updater. So you can go ahead and open it and update your Luma 3DS if you have not updated it recently. Um, so you can easily update it and you can see if you are on the most recent Luma updater on the top screen and all you have to do to install the latest version is hit install stable version or if you want to get the nightly version you can also install that one and that is how you update to boot 9 strap your nintendo 3ds is now on boot 9 strap and there's a ton of awesome stuff that you can do with this custom firmware including all the other stuff that you used to do with arm 9 so I have some video ideas for stuff I want to do, like um, playing Nintendo DS games from your SD card. I never made a video on NTR custom firmware, but that only works with new 3DSs. So I don't know if you guys have any suggestions for 3DS guides that you'd like to see, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. As I mentioned, comment down below what videos you'd like to see on custom firmware and things of that main nature and if you have not subscribed yet you can click on my icon on screen to subscribe check out some of my other custom firmware tutorials on screen now and as always thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and welcome to the operation